Xbox Ambassador Gamer with Lime here for Xbox Nation Canada. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can add a child account on your Xbox. So what we're going to do, we could actually do it on the Xbox itself, but we're going to actually do it on uh, the PC. So we're going to go to, uh, just give me a second here. We're going to remove all this. We are going to go to account.microsoft.com family. I am signed in with my current Xbox Live profile. So what we're going to do here is you can actually see underneath of my content. If you check over in the corner, it actually shows there uh, all the details. And this shows people that are actually in my family. So what I'm going to do is add a family member. So we're going to go create an account. Okay, we'll put get a new. So rather than doing that now i don't even know if i can actually do this i'll i'll try this i have gamer with lime oops gamer with lime kids at gmail.com and then we'll hit next <clears throat> and enter the password you would like to use with your account so basically i can actually set up whatever i want to do on here um this is pretty much we're creating an Xbox account. So and we're just going to I don't even know. Um we'll just go kids and account. We don't need to do that at the moment. Okay, so what's your birthday? So we're going to put it out. Region is Canada. We're going to put, say, January 1st of, I don't know. Let's go. We'll be classified as a kid's account. Let me see. Well, no, we should do 2000. Or 20. Let's go 20. I don't know. Let's do 2018. No, let's do 2012. So we'll do 2012. I'm just going to write down some details here on a piece of paper so I don't forget anything of stuff I'm actually creating. So a child account enables you to force parental controls and impose usage limits for this device for reasons of privacy and safety. You can manage these settings using your family's uh, safety app. So I do actually have an app that's actually on my phone too. Enter the code we sent to uh, kids at gmail.com. So I'm just going to have to quickly go over to a different account here. I have it set up. Or I believe I actually have it set up. Okay. So we're going to go back. So enter the code. Okay. So we did get a code. So that's when you go back and check your Gmail address. Um, basically, they send you this code now. Then we can hit next. So there we go. Uh, please solve the puzzle. We don't know your, so we don't know your robot. Okay. So what do we have to do? Use the arrows to rotate the object to face in the direction of the hand. Okay. So. Oops, so I would assume that's going to be facing that way. We're going to go ahead and submit. Use the arrow. So now we have to do the opposite direction. And now. Oops. So there's submit. Okay, verification is complete. Now, I've already went ahead, created the account. I've went and accepted it. Gives consent for kids, Microsoft account. Sign to verify your parent or guardian. Which is fine there. Yes, I agree. 
Can kids use non-Microsoft apps with this account? If you want, you can let your child use their new Microsoft account to sign into games and apps that weren't published by Microsoft. If you don't allow, they only have access to sign into apps published by Microsoft. So I'm just going to put non-Microsoft apps. Now the kids Microsoft account has been created. They can use their account with all Microsoft products, websites, online services, and apps. Kids is now in the family group. Here's the default Windows safety settings. So what we can do is we can set up um, device screen time limits. We can do activity reporting to see what they're actually doing. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna set up here, right now it says no limits. So moderate, strict, four hours daily, locked between 9 p.m. and 8 a.m. Moderate, six hours daily, locked between 9 p.m. and 8 a.m. Now I'm sure we could actually probably change certain things here. We're gonna go over to family safety. Take a look at some of the stuff that's on here. So age rating, set an appropriate age, which will filter out inappropriate apps, games, and media. So we're gonna do say 12. Unsafe browsers and mature content is blocked, while safe search is enabled on Bing. You can manually unblock browsers on your device. Requires permission for each purchase. That's probably an important one there. Um, I would suggest actually setting it up so that it's always required to get permission for a purchase. Um, get a weekly report sent to you. Kids and other organizers in the family build a kids activity, and then get kids activity sent to you on email. So basically you can just hit there, email sent. And that's about it. I mean, that's all it actually takes. Now, when we go to the Xbox itself, you'll be able to see that certain apps and whatnot are not gonna be able to be used. Okay, so parental consent has already been granted. So we're gonna go back to this here. Actually, I'll do the family home. And now you'll be able to see. Connect their device. So it shows there, you know, choose the device to connect to family safety, Windows 10 devices. So you'll be able to do that. Um, and then in here, it's actually going to tell you how to set up all the different devices. So on Windows 10, add kids Microsoft account to a Windows 10 device. You go to Windows Settings, Accounts, Family and Other People. Under your family, select the child and check Allow. Xbox Consoles. Add a kid's account to the Xbox console. Select the Xbox button to open up the guide. Sign in and then add New. Sign in with your kid's Microsoft account. And then the console should appear in their connected devices. Android phones, iPhones. So it's going to tell you how to actually do everything here. We're just going to click out there. Um, I'm going to switch over to Xbox and add that account onto my Xbox. Okay, so right now we are signed into our console. What we're gonna do is go up to the top, go on to the right hand side, gonna go add or switch. All the way down to the bottom, we're gonna add new. And then what we're gonna do is add the account that we just created. All right, we're going to sign in with Gamer with Lime Kids. Um, oops, I did forget something there. Okay, so what we'll need to do is actually add the password for GamerWithLimeKids at gmail.com. We'll sign in with that account, and then that will actually be a child account. Which gamer tag do you want? So we're just going to pick a gamer tag of, you know, so we're going to do Gamer with Lime Kid. And I think... 
That's probably going to be too long. Because I think we can only do up to a certain amount of characters here. We'll see up to 12 characters. Okay, we have to do another one. Um, so we're going to do Lime Kid. See if that's actually something we can do. Lime Kid. Okay, good to go. Okay, I'm just going to hit next. Next again. Parental controls, privacy, and online safety. On Xbox, adults decide whether children and others can see and do. Privacy settings may vary, but here's a summary of defaults for child or children. Sorry, children can play and download free games, music, videos, and apps, and make game clips to their best moments. Children can see other people's profiles and content they create, but need the permission of an adult and their family to add friends. A child's friend can communicate with them and see when they're online and available to play. A child's friend can see their profile, but not their real name. Um, your actions matter. To help keep the Xbox network in a safe place to play, we may collect such as or collect data such as voice, text chats, pictures, videos, and in-game content, including game clips you upload, conversations you have, and things you post in clubs and games to make sure they don't violate the community standards for Xbox. For complete details, Read the privacy statement. So you can update these settings and settings, accounts, family settings. We'll hit next. Um, so this is basically how, you know, you just want to sign in. So we'll go for a pin. We're not going to link a controller. Um, we're going to make this our home console. You can do five switches per year. It shows five of five left. We'll actually just do that later. Pick a color. We'll do green. Gamer tags and gamer picks represent people on the Xbox console and in the community. Choose a different gamer pick or gamer tag and settings. General personalization by profile. So we're just going to leave it as is. So there you go. So there's his account. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on to, we're going to try and find something that would possibly block us after. So we're going to switch back to the console or to the PC. Okay. So if we take a look on the actual PC itself, we're going to look under kids. It says connect kids mobile phone to see their location. Um, we don't have the phone set up on this. So we're just going to click on this here and it's going to show you up at the top here. It actually says Windows, Xbox, Edge, Mobile, just different things. Um, so you can add kids devices to get started. So for screen time features to work, kids will need to sign into a Windows device. So that's just for like PC or a tablet or whatever the case is. Now, these are Windows 10 devices. There's no device connected at the moment. But for example, right now it's showing 15 hours a day as a time limit. 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Now, if you choose to have that different for, say, for example, you want a restriction of only, you know, three hours, you can actually change that. You can change the time that they're on. Maybe you want them to go to bed early or something. You can actually put eight o'clock, 10 o'clock, whatever the case is. Um, and then all you have to do is hit done. That actually shows there. Now for that day, obviously, weekends and weekdays might be different um, as to how much time you're going to allow your kid to have. Uh, because they have homework they have to do during the week and stuff like that. But um, so anyways, activity reporting for Windows is on. Now we can actually go over to the Xbox. You can actually have two apps and games. Um, we don't have necessarily anything set at the moment, but it does say that the apps and games limits is actually on. So we're going to head over to Xbox here. It just shows two minutes on there that I'm connected so far. We can lock down the device. If, for example, your kid's not behaving that day or you don't want them to have the console, you can simply just go ahead, lock it on there, lock the console down, and that'll be it. I believe it's just locked for uh, till the end of the day. Unless you choose to unlock them sooner, devices will remain locked until the end of the day. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock that. Um, now you have certain days here. That says 15 hours on there. 
or no limit whatsoever all depending on what you're going to do 15 hours 15 hours a day playing is quite a bit um you can do the same thing actually set your restrictions of times so you can make it so it's you know 10 o'clock whatever the case is um you just hit done after so you have time limit during the day um maximum i believe maximum time or whatever where was that on there activity reporting same thing again now also to apps and games what you can do apps and games limits is on um so you can actually go down let's say for example your kids playing too much fortnite you can go ahead onto fortnite here and you can choose that you only want them to play four hours a day or whatever the case is so six hours no limit um, it goes right up set restrictions for what times and whatnot so it's nice you can actually do these per game you can actually let them sort of have more or less time certain days maybe they actually you know got their chores done or something like that you can actually add some time now there are different ways you can add a time when the time's up um, i'm going to get into that that's actually an app on the um phone itself you can actually use or you can do it on the console too so what we're going to do is switch back over to the xbox and we'll actually go from there okay so here we are on so it does show there something did happen because i kicked off and i said time's up kids if you'd like more time you can ask a parent to add some or you can wait until it's time to play again after you get more time you can sign in again so approvals are easier using the family xbox settings app uh, add screen time here. You need a parent account. Choose a parent or add a new adult to finish setting things up. I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to set my pin in there. How much time you'd like to add for your kids? So we can do 15 minutes. We can do 120 maximum there or just remove the limit. So it actually doesn't take much to be able to set that up. So we'll do that. And like I said, I'm assuming because I did um, screen time limits have been removed. Have fun. So we'll go in. To, so I'm going to browse the store. I wonder what we actually have for. going to go on to Call of Duty. Um, we're going to go to Warzone. See if I can actually load this. We're going to hit play. So it says there, Call of Duty is rated above kids. Uh, Lime Kid, content restrictions, or change permissions, check with an adult and their family. So if a parent or other organizer, other organizer and their Microsoft family is nearby, ask them now. So you can hit ask now. And then choose if we'll give permission. So we can just hit that. And it says, can Lime Kid play Call of Duty? This is rated above lime kid content restrictions so you can actually do just this once always so it's basically it's fairly easy to use this this app or not the app but the actual um restrictions set up an account for your kid set up a restrictions sure you just have to play with it but the big thing is that you actually want to do that on the uh pc if possible and then there is an actual app you can download for your phone and i believe that's xbox family i'll actually have a video on this app because it's actually pretty cool to show you guys how that app actually works so anyways hope this video is sort of helpful to show you guys how you use your or how to add a child account some of the restrictions you can impose on them on the pc or using the pc and like i said i'll actually have an upload from the uh, mobile app shortly so we'll talk to you guys soon you've been watching gamer with lime for xbox nation canada and like, comment, subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.